Hello, I'm Elizabeth Danella, and in this talk, I will present our work on Hoppity, an end-to-end -end approach to detect and fix bugs in JavaScript programs using a graph neural network technique. Tools to automatically detect bugs in programs have existed for decades. However, the problem of program analysis is undecidable, and traditional analysis techniques have limitations. When attempting to enforce an undecidable analysis rule, errors will likely arise. These are often in the form of false positives, which can be distracting to the user. Furthermore, traditional analysis techniques often require handwritten rules that target certain error patterns in a particular code base or specific bug types. To make matters worse, the popularity of dynamic scripting languages such as JavaScript provide a unique challenge. Bugs in JavaScript manifest in exceedingly diverse ways and cannot be captured by a single rule. Therefore, the primary goal of our approach is generality. An effective bug finding tool for JavaScript must be operative against a broad spectrum of programming errors. We propose an approach that leverages commit data on GitHub to locate and repair bugs. There have been inspiring recent works in deep learning for program reasoning. However, these approaches are not general as they target specific bug patterns. Furthermore, most of these approaches cannot handle fixes that require adding or removing statements from a program. This technique presents three major challenges. First, how do we represent source code? Second, how do we represent fixes? And lastly, how do we learn from these edits to detect and repair faults in unseen code? In compilers and programming languages literature, programs are often represented as an abstract syntax tree or AST. ASTs provide a nice structure for reasoning about programs via graph neural networks. In order to aid in learning program meaning, we augment the AST with additional edges. Now that our program is in a graph structure, the remaining challenge is to map the graph to a fixed dimension vector space. We do so using a standard message passing technique with L levels. Now, let's consider how to represent edits. Our key idea is that any fix in source code can be represented by a sequence of graph edits to the AST. Consider the following edit in which the developer adds a parameter B and the return keyword. How can we represent these changes as a series of graph edits? Adding the B parameter is represented by adding a node to the graph. First, we must select a parent node to add our new child to. Now, we must select which graph edit operation to perform. In this case, we select add node. The value B is chosen from a global value dictionary, and the type of the node, parameter, is chosen from a global type dictionary. Now, we continue in the sequence by modifying the type of the binary expression A plus B to the return expression. We select the replace type operator, and the type is chosen from a global type dictionary. We represent that the sequence is completed by selecting the no-op or stop operator. More formally, given a buggy graph, we're trying to predict the fixed graph through a sequence of key edits. Different programs may need a different number of steps, which is also determined by the model. In general, a fix is a sequence of the following graph edit operations we've defined. When combined into multi-step edits, these operators suffice to capture a rich variety of code modifications. Notice that these operators share some common low-level primitives, such as finding the location or predicting a value. Now, let's consider how do we learn to detect and repair faults in unseen code. Our model keeps track of state through two contexts, a macro context that keeps track of the edits in the total sequence predicted, and a micro context which keeps track of low-level predictions made within each graph edit. At each step of Predicting a primitive, the microcontext is updated. In this way, the location chosen is used in predicting the child number, which is in turn used in predicting the value, and so on. In summary, given a data set of pairs of buggy and fixed code mined from GitHub commits, our model is trained to maximize the likelihood of the fixes. We evaluate our approach on three data sets mined from GitHub commits. Each data set is named based on the number of edits targeted. We target commits with a low number of AST edits based on our insight that a commit with a smaller number of AST differences is most likely to be a bug fix. Our approach achieves over 25% end-to-end accuracy on the one-dip dataset.
Accuracy is defined end-to-end, -end, which could involve predicting the type of the edit, the location, the value, and the node type. A model that randomly selects predictions is shown for comparison to illustrate the size of the prediction space. Thank you.